Greetings fellow Earthlings, AGK here with a quick IC2 API tutorial. Now I have only recently started modding with IC2, so as always if you see a more efficient way of doing something, please let me know. For my tutorials I like to keep them short and simple. This means I will likely cover only one or two different aspects of the API. So let's get started. In this video I will be starting from the beginning, installing Forge and the IC2 API. Keep in mind, even though I'm using a Mac, most things should be the same on all operating systems. First we need to get Eclipse. I'm just going to open this, the eclipse.downloads packages, eclipse standard, yeah, the link will be in the description. Download the version for your computer, and this is just installing Eclipse. I already have Eclipse, so I'm not going to be doing that. Next, you want to get the API. It's just that, which should also be in the description. You want to download the Industrial Craft 2 API for whatever version. At this time, 1.118.401 is seems like it is the one for 162. I'm not exactly sure where the version stuff is, but just download that. And while you're here, I'd also download the dev dob. I don't, I can't pronounce that, but the dob. Which just download that one as well. I will do that as well. Okay, there we go. So those two are downloading. While we're doing that, we want to get Forge. Forge is just files.minecraftforge.net. You want to download the version for the one you want to make. So right now I'm doing for uh, 162. So I'm just going to do the recommended 162. Download the source. Wait five seconds for the ad fly. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Skip ad. It'll download. I'm just going to drag these out to my desktop. This one. So let's get started with the API one. This is the API file that I just downloaded. Let's unzip that and get into the file or a folder called IC2. You will notice inside this this IC2 there's API. Inside that is all the API files, all in Java. Perfect. But we're just going to keep it as a IC2 file. Next, we are going to install Forge. So let's find the Forge. Here it is. Unzip that. And delete this now, we don't need that. And just keeping everything simple, I like to make a new folder for just modding. So I'm going to call it IC2 modding. Perfect. Let's open that and put the forge. I already have a folder called forge, that's why it's forge2. But go in there, name this to forge. There we go. Perfect. So let's open this. And you should see the install that sh. If you are on a Mac or Linux, you will have to use the terminal to do that. If you are using a Windows, you should see this command or something like that. One of these you have to open. Not sure how you use that on Windows, but that's pretty much what you need to do for this. Now we're just going to cd into the desktop. Cd into what I call IC2 modding. Now in here you should see the Forge. CD Forge, and here's all the Forge files. So we're just gonna do for for Mac and Linux. We are doing sh install dot sh. Now this will install Forge. So let's check in the MC file MCP, which is Minecraft Coder Pack, and it's gonna download this, install it, and I will be back once this is done. Okay, guys, it just finished. Let's exit that out. Open this. We should see Forge with MCP and everything in working in there. Perfect. So now we are going to open Eclipse. And this is the latest version that I just downloaded. Now your workspace. You're going to browse. You're going to go to desktop. These are both those. Let's find IC2 modding. Right there. IC2 modding, Forge, MCP, and Eclipse. You click open. That is the workshop or the workspace that you're going to want to use. Okay, and let this open up. Once we get into here, we're pretty much done. All we're just going to do is oh, here for now, we can make a new window. Let's go to desktop, IC2 modding, wherever that is, Forge, MCP. I go into jars. Maybe it's not jars. 
think that's jars. Oh, duh. So once you're in here, you're just going to run the server or run the client, launching client. Let it do stuff. Stuff that's taking a long time. You're just going to run your client, which will make all the mods file and all that kind of, uh, the mods folder. Okay guys, sorry about that, it kind of was doing some unrelated tasks. So, now we have Minecraft 162 open with um, Forge successfully open, all that stuff working. Perfect. Let's quit game, and we're just going to do all our stuff from this IC2 modding folder. Change into, the so you're in Forge, change into uh, MCP, then go into your source, Source, there we go. Minecraft, and now this is where you're going to want to put your the folder that's called IC2, wherever that went. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, I found it. Sorry about that. Okay, so Forge, MCP, you'll see I already have it open. <laughs> Source, Minecraft, and now this folder. Just drag and drop into there. Perfect. And I would also recommend putting um, the the deopt whatever that the deorbs orbfiscate whatever that is. The one that IC2 one that you downloaded earlier, put that inside the jars and then mods. And this mods folder will show up once you run the, the client. If it ha if you have not run the client yet and you just see a few files here. Just make a folder called mods and put that file in here. You see, I already did that. That file we downloaded, just put that in there. And that's all you need to do. Once so you open Eclipse again, in here, source, you should see all the IC2 APIs in here. If you do not, and you've put that in there, just right click, refresh. That's just about it. You can now make your, your package, your mod. Basic Adam. I'm just gonna call it that. New class. So yeah, I'm not gonna get into the actual modding part right now, but you now have IC2 installed. You can import IC2. That API dot. Oh, what do you want to do? Crops. Perfect. So now we can use the crops feature in our mod. Perfect. If you have any questions or if you want any specific part of IC2 that you want me to look over, leave that in the comments. That's about it.